Alright, what's up guys? Cursive Man here. Uh, just going to do a quick video. I uh, got some new stuff from my sumo wall here in my son's gym. And um, also wanted to show off um, some cards, some baseball cards from my childhood. Uh, if y'all haven't subscribed to him, I've talked to him, talked about him before. Um, there's a YouTuber named DaBuffMan, D-A-B-U-F-F-17. Um, Y'all need to check him out. He does a lot of card breaks, packs, opening. It's really cool. Um, fun to watch. Right now he's doing tier one. Looking for some bat knobs. Uh, hopefully we'll get him one. But uh, yeah, got some cool stuff. So he got a Jose Canseco autograph card the other day. So I, I was, we had talked previously about Jose being my favorite player. So I uh, told him I'd show him my cards and that's what I'm going to do. But um. First, I'm going to show you the sumo-related stuff that I just recently got. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. And then I'll show you the cards. So let me flip this camera around here. All right. This is my sumo wall so far. Um, up top here, that is a, um, a Yukata cloth from the... Uh, it's right off the original bolt. That was used to make uh, Harumafuji, Harumafuji's um, Yukata. He is the uh, Yokozuna that recently retired. Uh, I think it was last year. And there's a little controversy. He got into a little scuffle with somebody, and he had to uh, uh, retire. So they they kind of look down upon any type of you know stuff happening in the media. They're supposed to be examples and. So it was, it, you know, bad thing to see him go, but proud to have that. Um, got that from a, uh, a friend of one of my um, sumo trading boards. So yeah, it's pretty awesome to have Paul. Thank you. Uh, also, right here, this is what I really intended to show. This is, I guess, my new prize possession. This is a, a, a Tagata from um, Tochi Notion. He is uh, my favorite sumo wrestler. Just got promoted to Ozeki, which is the second highest uh, level, right under Yokozuna. So that is an original um, Tagata from him. So so freaking excited to have that in my collection. And then I don't know if I've showed this before, but this is a um, Shikishi from a, a wrestler named Gu Guedo. He's also a Ozeki, and I got this uh, from uh, Paul, the same guy that I got the the um you caught it from um i stuck a couple of his cards in there just for looks and stuff but it's a little different from this one because this one actually has the handprint that's what the takata stands for i think it's a hand shape is what it translates to this is just the autograph here so it's, it's still it's amazing um then of course i've showed my bonzo case it's uh toti notions rookie year his name is way down on the bottom. And then uh, up here, this is from January of this year where he won the uh, his first championship. So, yeah. And then got my little guy here. I think I've shown that too. Action figure my son got for me. Um, and then I got the open space over here for uh, future Bonzo Ks. I know I'm going to get the next one because that'll be... Uh, that will be Tochi Notion's first uh, Bonzake as a uh, Ozeki, so that will be something pretty special to have. So yeah, I'm going to uh, get that and fill up that side of the wall over there. So yeah, so let's, um, I guess while I got the camera out, I'll show you guys a quick little rundown of the room. Got all of this little stuff here. Um, that's uh, Johan Duhapas. He sent us that from France. He's a boxer. Met him a couple times. Super nice guy. We went and saw him fight Deontay Wilder. Uh, of course, we're Alabama fans here. And this is signed by one of the probably hated, most hated refs out there, Steve Mazzagatti. <laughs> Been good friends with him for a while. Um, Josh Koscheck signed that. Some stamps from... Kazakhstan with Triple G, that's my son's favorite boxer. Also, uh, some of the older guys, Joe Lewis, uh, I think Rocky Marciano, Manny Pacquiao, 
Another UFC poster signed by Steve. Uh, this here is actually uh, um, a kid from uh, Africa. His name was uh, Prince um, Tiga. Prince Tiga. He uh, now plays for Auburn, and that was his graduation high school. He signed it for me. Up here we got the uh, boxing gloves that belong to my son, his Irish Mickey Ward. That's uh, Johan's right there that he signed. Mike Tyson, Triple G, and we got Deontay up top up there. Got all the commemorative Corona bottles. Mike Tyson mystery figures, pretty cool. <laughs> it's a funny ass TV show. Jenna Jameson signed that, sent it to him. Ray Elby, he tried to make it into the scene, didn't get too far. Uh, this is the guy that played um, Samurai Jack. He was the voice of Samurai Jack. I forget his name. Sorry about that, but you can just look it up. Son got that signed at a con. Some more Mike Tyson mysteries. Brock Lesnar, met him. He's a really cool dude. Kevin Durant, rookie card. Uh, That's a picture. My son's art teacher did of him blindfolded. Uh, we got these at the water Molina fight, the water uh, Duhapis fight. This was signed by um, a guy that we were friends with who tried to get into MMA also. And uh, I think his name was Bobby Friend. I don't think he got too far, but I see him right there. Pretty nice dude. And then up here, we got the old school. Uh, Jordan starting line up Some boxing Joe Lewis and uh, Rocky Marciano there and Then some of my old-school comic book stuff here Thor number one signed by Jason Aaron Walt Simonson did that sketch for me uh, A friend of mine that's in a band named Jenna Morrison. She uh, was in the conduits and the Sun ambulance she uh, did that sketch cover for me. This was done by a YouTuber uh, when we used to do comic book YouTube videos. That's me up there, Thor. <laughs> and then, yeah, my son. Congratulations, he just graduated. And then we got Tony Ja autograph movie poster and my dude Justin Fersenfeld from Blue October. So yeah, so that's that. I showed you a little kind of a room tour right quick let me uh get in the best position so you can see these cards hopefully so it's not too dark let's see here i'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on them because honestly i don't remember all the years and stuff like that but we'll uh just kind of flip through the pages and you can see what's going on there we go that glare is killing us here all right I mean, I've got from the start, you know, his rookie card, and it's like an old school American League All Star card. 89 Donruss MVP. There's 87. Uh, right here, we got a. Not sure what year that is. But Captain Crunch card. Got that out of a cereal box. Tops. One is Bowman. I always hated Bowman because they were longer than the sleeves. It was tough to do. Keep them in there. Uh, 1990, what is that? 91. Upper deck. Score select when he was on the Rangers. Uh, that's 89, I believe. I remember that one. That was like one of the first Jose cards I ever got. It was 1990. Uh, Fleer. Got a score, 91. Toys R Us, rookie collection. Pretty cool, because since Toys R Us is no longer in business. Got the uh, 89 Donruss. These are rough shape, too. You can see some of them crease pretty good. That was a starting lineup, one-on-one card. Don't have the figure anymore, unfortunately. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, another Tops. Got another 91 score. Another starting lineup from 91. Got a Kmart. 
1990. <coughs> Excuse me, goodness. Uh, Post Serial. I think they did a bunch of players. Another 89. 88 Donruss. We got this uh, upper deck, 1992. There's a um, upper deck card, pretty cool. We can do a Donruss 89, 40 40 club card. It's a newer 90s when he was on the Rangers. Same here. 91 when he was in Oakland, still. Uh, this is a sports flick. If it'll, you can kind of see it doing its thing. But a uh, little hologram type card. Uh, Donruss 1991. Got a, uh, forget what this thing was called. It was, let's see, I'll tell you. Well, no, I can't. I got something behind it. Um, kind of popped up. I never took it apart. There was a 1990 Jose. That was a uh, 40th anniversary. Of tops, I guess maybe. Forget. Forty years of baseball. Yeah, so I guess that's their fortieth year. Who's that card? Fleer. Tim Hardaway rookie card. It's kind of random. Uh, Jose Canseco, his tops traded, rookie. These were always cool when I was little. Seeing these upper deck cards like this, I always thought that was fascinating for some reason. Still mixing in random stuff. We got Johnny Manziel, Mark Cooper's rookie. There's Jose's the prize rookie from back in the day. Paid a fortune for that thing, and now it's worth nothing, really. <laughs> uh, Cam Newton rookie. Another Mark Cooper, Marcus Mariota rookie. Uh, and Domica Sua's rookie. Julio, rookie, Colin Kaepernick, rookie, Dream Team. I got in so much trouble for getting this card. This is not my original one. I had to get another one because my mom ripped it up because I used my lunch money to purchase the first one. <laughs> so, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Um, this was a Fleer, uh, Youthful Power, Pink, Pete Incabilia and uh, Canseco together. Uh, we got the uh, limited edition 1987 league standouts from the 90s. 1990 Jose, another cool one with Wally Joyner, rookie All Stars. Uh, it's a Donruss upper deck score. Those, I always love this. That's so awesome. It's probably one of my favorite Jose cards. The art was really cool. We got one of his All Star Tops. A 1990 score. This was from the classic baseball sets that they had. 1990. Got a score. There's a Fleer MVP one. Another Fleer. Where he's on the Rangers, Donruss. See him and the man, Ricky Henderson, together. Uh, nothing on here, just a bunch of random football cards. Uh, this is 40-40 club card. Uh, let's see, score 92. Almost looks like the one where he, I think he was on the Rangers then. The ball bounced off his head and made a home run for the guy. Yeah, that's crazy. Random Superman cards in there. There's a uh, Rangers card. Here's a Jose Canseco Madonna Truth or Dare card. Kind of something you don't see every day. <laughs> More all my Raiders football cards. Uh, I'm a Raiders fan. Got the Latin Stars, Canseco with, uh, I'm not even going to try, I know Palmero's in there. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm not even going to attempt it. This is Upper Deck, Canseco. Another one from Donruss. 
Sluggers. The 91 Fleer. The Fleer Ultra. Another Don Russ. I probably have multiples of that. There's the Power Team. McGuire and Seiko together. That's when he got traded to the Rangers. Starting lineup figure. Uh, here we go. It's um, when he played for the Blue Jays. Let's see. The Fleer Ultra, Texas, Will Clark. Um, getting to the end here. I'm not sure what this is. Some kind of SPE Authentic or something like that. Yeah. This one was pretty cool. I do not know. Investors card, 1991. Kevin Moss, rookie. Another off brand. That's the back of the um, Investors one. It was some kind of special set. I forget what it was for, but pretty neat. And uh, let's see. And then I got this one last one right here. Well, two, I'm sorry, Diamond Kings. And then the, the A's tops. I think that was it. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, so I appreciate y'all sitting through this video, 16 minutes. Uh, debuff, man, keep up the good work, man. Keep nailing them packs. I enjoy watching it. And uh, next month, Sumo will be back on, ready for that. Oh, I didn't even mention, you got Danica Patrick up here. Right there. She signed that. Um, my mom got that for me. She autographed it for her. So, yeah. I didn't even mention her earlier. I can't believe it. Anyhow. Uh, appreciate you guys watching this video. And uh, when I get something else cool, I'll definitely shoot another video. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks.